Hi Pisces and welcome to your spiritual tarot advice for July. All tarot decks that I'm using are listed in the description box below. So Pisces, this tarot reading is intended to bring you information and guidance from your spirit guides as well as offer you more of a spiritual perspective about um, you know different things you're facing in your life rather than uh, through the human perspective or um, you know material. So Pisces, let's see what energy your spirit guides are offering you for July. All right, fifth ray of intellectual knowledge. So Pisces, in July, you can expect to really be learning a lot from the non-physical realm, okay? You have... Um, each one of you are at different levels of your spiritual development and so the way this plays out will be very different for each and every one of you. Some of you this is very spiritual, very intense um, where you're receiving a lot of channeled messages, a lot of downloads, a lot of upgrades to your consciousness, a lot of expansions. You know, July is like you are just really growing by leaps and bounds consciously or spiritually, okay? For others of you, um, this is where you are deciding in July to look into your own spirit and um, different belief systems and things of that nature uh, in regards to spirituality, trying to grow yourself, all right? No matter what, though, it's like Pisces is really learning and expanding um, intellectually, consciously, and spiritually in July. That's the guidance that's being given to you um, by your spirit guides. It's like you're going to know. So let's, I'm really curious to see what house this is attached to. Let's see what area of your life this is most pertaining to. I feel like it's this right here. I, I just, gosh darn it, I had a feeling Pisces. <laughs> okay, so this is fifth house energy. This is where we're big time um, learning and growing by leaps and bounds. So Pisces, this is either about um, romance for you, and this isn't seventh or eighth house type of energy where it's, you know, really significant long-term partnerships, intense emotions. This is more of that... I'm dating, flirty, fun, I'm sensual, I'm passionate, that type of energy, okay, that area of who you are, as well as you, what you are good at, like your uh, creative ability, your artistic ability, your passions, you know, your hobbies, the things that just exhilarate you and light you up inside and make you excited and fill you with fire, all right? That's what's highlighted here. So Pisces, you are learning a lot about yourself in this area or other people that are attached to this fifth house energy for you. Um, it could be your passions. It could be taking an artistic talent and turning it into a profession. It could be taking um, a spiritual gift and turning it into a profession. This is different for each one of you. Okay, so... Let's pull a card to see where your guides perceive you um, in this journey of this energy. And man, <laughs> lots of downloads, lots of understanding happening for Pisces with this fifth house in July. That is where your spirit guides are focused or pointing you to focus. Oh my goodness. Need I say more? Um, this is the union card. So it, it's how, how, who are you romantically, Pisces? Whether you're single, dating, or in a committed relationship, what's your romantic level? What's your passion level? What's your excitement? What's your inner fire? Is it a blaze or is it like barely flickering? Okay. Um, so this is really about you becoming vulnerable in such a way so that you can connect with another person intimately. Like this is the beginning that when we're first dating, when we're being passionate, we're being silly, we're being flirty, that type of energy. Okay. So there's a coming together. And for others of you, this is about, you know, 
the relationship with yourself where you're coming into the belief and having the confidence in your ability, your creativity, um, your cre creative ability or your artistic ability and um, deciding to express yourself through that outlet, whether just for the expression of it or to create some sort of profession or healing from your gift, okay? So uh, definitely got some romance um, understanding taking place, upgrades, downloads, um, aha moments, professions of love maybe for some of you. So let's... Uh, Pull your tarot. All right, so we have the star. So there's definitely healing taking place in this fifth house energy for you guys. We have the Three of Wands, which is um, opportunities that you're waiting to come to you that you've been expecting. You want to be noticed. And I see this both in romance and with your creative talent. Like, I see where you're waiting for opportunities. You want to be noticed. You want to be a star. Some of you want to be famous or notorious or very well known for your crea creative ability or talent. We have the Seven of Swords. And we have the Eight of Cups. Wow. Pisces. Um, yeah. So... Your guides are offering you great healing in this area of your life, okay? They're showing you where you're cheating yourself, where um, you're lying to yourself, where you have beliefs about yourself and your ability that need to uh, be changed. Um, they're also showing you where you lie to yourself in regards to romance, you know, with other people and um, how you feel about yourself and what you think about yourself. This is a new beginning coming in. So um, I see opportunities. I see people trying to get noticed, whether that's you, Pisces, trying to get noticed by romance, um, potential partners, or, you know, putting your talent out there. But some of you are really wanting to get noticed and... Um, it's, I feel like you feel you've been cheated or robbed somehow, some way, like, um, in romance, like, you're not giving, given the respect, honor, or credit that you deserve, um, with your creative talent, you feel like it's just not, you know, being as well received as it should, like, it's amazing, and why isn't it amazing, but beautiful here is we have this second chance, all right, we have this opportunity of a new beginning but this time around we're very full grown and I love that we have seven eight and then this is two and three okay um, very synchronistic so Pisces there is great healing happening for you in July in regards to romantic matters as well as your creative and artistic talents and abilities all right um Let me just, I want to pull another card really quick. And I feel like some of you, where you've been trying to get noticed by somebody or by a corporation to get your idea off the ground, like wherever you've been trying to get noticed, you're either finally getting noticed or something else is coming back in that's equally as good or as impressive so we have the strength card to go with the star card right here so yeah there's a really strong healing and you know what there are going to be opportunities coming your way for all the hard work and effort that you've been putting in to your talent ability or into yourself in regards to love and romance and um now we have this page of or i'm sorry this knight of cups in this position and then we have the four of cups so let me just and then we have the eight of swords okay so um we have an eight because that's 
the strength card and we end with an eight plus there's an eight right there um, and then eight so we have eight 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 and eight and we have a seven there um, you you are completing some sort of like cycle of this energy but you're still in the loop and look at I'm talking about the infinity and look at there it is right there so that is rampant and very predominant in your reading Pisces um, I just get that you need to just continue to work hard on yourself or on your talent and keep yourself open to you know your spirit guides because some of you it's like you're trying to get attention from the wrong place like from a person who only wants to play with your heart or you know if it's about your creative talent it's um, you're not get you're not you haven't presented it to the right people yet alright and that's and you need to realize that and not give up not throw in the towel it's just the right people haven't crossed your path yet alright and if this is romance you've got to stop wanting to put yourself out there and get attention from somebody who's just in and out in and out in and out of your life like it's not it's not gonna work we've got to break the pattern and the routine here and this could be where in regards to love and romance we let people in and out in and out in and out and we need to stop that okay we need to break that cycle um, or it's like we we don't even want to be in that cycle it's like that's all that's coming our way okay but it's coming to an end um, with your creativity with your creative ability or talent it's like you're feeling again like cheated like it's not taking off it's not working out I'm being really held back from um, my new beginning and honest to God Pisces with this coming out this is saying no this is really all about your mind and what you believe if you are being trapped you're not getting the right opportunities um, it's because of your own energy and the beliefs that you hold about yourself okay and with the fifth ray of intellectual knowledge showing up here that's telling you Pisces that if you rewrite that subconscious mind a little bit everything's gonna be okay you need to have union of mind um, heart and soul in all that you do um, I highly recommend doing some meditations while you sleep to balance your energy and clear your mind of any negative thinking and unnecessary lower vibrating energy because there is a new beginning here for Pisces okay but you've got to free yourself mentally to allow it to happen and that's what this fifth ray of intellectual knowledge is all about is your guide saying Pisces you've got to free your mind you've got to open up your belief systems um, you have been working hard it's not about you um, not putting in the time energy and effort it's really about you opening your mind and opening yourself up to other opportunities that what that aren't on your agenda or that haven't showed up yet because what many of you are reaching for isn't really in your best interest whatsoever and um, we're holding ourselves back to that but really you need to let it go and let this new opportunity come in okay so let's pull some advice on how to help you with that all right reach for your dreams I am the creator of my own dreams and achieve them with confidence. Yup, Pisces, 100%. There is this beginning for you. There is um, success here. You have been putting in the work, but it's really a matter of what's going on in that head, how much you believe in yourself and believe in your own dreams and, you know, if this is all about romance your true beliefs about romance okay you can't really it, deep within think that love hurts and it never works out and all these things and then somehow magically hope that you're gonna meet somebody and it's just gonna be great no that's not what it's gonna be you've got to rewrite that um, subconscious programming those deep-rooted beliefs um, either about romance or your creative a talent or ability in your dreams here Pisces because here's your guide saying no you reach for those dreams you can achieve them we're doing everything we can to help you come into union 
with those dreams, Pisces, but it's all about what's going on in that mind of yours, okay? So that should be your area of focus for July, is getting out of your head and rewriting the beliefs of your subconscious programming about love or about yourself and what you are capable of achieving. All right, Pisces, so those are your messages for July. I'm wishing you all the very best. Take care.